Hey everyone, it's Sonia Elsie here. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a 25 things you didn't know are vegan video. This is going to be Trader Joe's edition. Last time I did one of these videos, you guys seemed to really, really like it. So I'm going to do another one. And if you guys want to see more of them, then leave a comment. Let me know what else you would like to see. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much to the account Trader Joe's Vegan for inspiring this video. I've been following this account for literally forever and they're also letting me use some of their photos so that I can show you guys what products I'm actually talking about. So yeah, thank you so much for letting me use your photos and thank you for having an amazing account. I will link their Instagram down below and they're always posting photos of new things at Trader Joe's that are vegan. If you guys didn't know, Trader Joe's is a grocery store in the United States and it's really popular and they have a lot of really awesome vegan stuff. Also, I'm really sorry for the background noise. There is construction going on outside and my neighbors upstairs have decided that now would be the perfect time to play their music as loud as possible. So, you know, that's great. <laughs> so the first thing that is vegan from Trader Joe's are the mango and sticky rice spring rolls. These I literally just purchased and I have not tried them yet, but I believe that they are dessert style spring rolls and they're very cute looking. The packaging is very cute, very orange. I did not expect these to be vegan because I feel like there would be milk in them. I don't know, even mango sticky rice sometimes does have milk in it. So yeah, I will probably try these and show them to you guys in a vlog sometime. So follow me on my vlog channel if you're not already following me. The next thing at Trader Joe's that is vegan are these semi-sweet chocolate chips. You have to watch out because I believe there are two different types and one of them is vegan and one of them is not. So you just have to check the ingredients. Um, one of them does have milk in it, the other one is totally fine. So yeah, and they're very close to each other so it's easy to get them confused. So yeah, I've had these before. They're really good. 10 out of 10, chocolate chip edition, would recommend. The next thing at Trader Joe's that is vegan is their vegetable fried rice. This comes in a frozen bag and it is pretty good. If you cook it with olive oil on the stove, you have fried rice really quickly and really easily and it comes with vegetables. All the vegetables are all cut up and 10 out of 10. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's not like my most favorite thing ever, but it is very fast and very easy and I feel like it's pretty healthy. It has vegetables and rice and pretty good flavor. So yeah. The next thing from Trader Joe's that is vegan are their marshmallows. Their marshmallows are pretty good. Um, they are vegan, 10 out of 10. Most marshmallows actually have gelatin in them, so the fact that the Trader Joe's ones are vegan is very exciting and they taste really, really good. A lot of vegan marshmallows have a weird consistency or they don't really melt right if you're trying to make s'mores, but these are really, really good. The next vegan thing from Trader Joe's are their vegan chocolate chip cookies. These are labeled as vegan, so it's very easy to find them. You just find them in the cookie section. And these are amazing. I love them. They're great. They're great. They're usually sold out though because they're so popular. So usually I just have to stick to the vegan raisin oatmeal cookies, which are definitely not as exciting, but at least they have that option too. But yeah, their chocolate chip cookies are bomb if you can get them before they are sold out. Next thing from Trader Joe's that is vegan are their veggie gyoza. You guys, if you follow my vlog channel or if you've watched any of my What Ain't In A Days, you've probably seen this. This is probably my most favorite thing from Trader Joe's. It is just these vegetable gyoza pot sticker things that you can fry on the stove and they're so, so good with their sweet chili sauce, which is the next vegan item on the list. Um, their sweet chili sauce is amazing and paired with the pot stickers, it's like the best thing ever and I eat this way too often. It's just so easy and so good and so simple. The next thing, this is another favorite from Trader Joe's, is their spicy lentil wrap. This is a just a, a wrap that you can get. It's something that you can get to go, which is convenient. Um, a lot of grocery stores don't have like to go vegan foods that you can just get very easily. So yeah, the spicy lentil wrap, really, really good. And it also comes with a sauce that is more, um, it's, it tastes kind of like a dairy, like it would be dairy, but it's not. And I believe it's a tahini sauce. It is bomb. Next vegan item at Trader Joe's is their Thai sweet chili burger. This I personally find kind of interesting. It's a veggie burger that you can tell is a veggie burger. I personally am not a huge fan of those. I love vegan burgers when they are realistic and when they look like meat. I don't really like them when you can see the vegetables and stuff, which is what this is. So if you like those kinds of burgers, you will like this, but if not, 
then maybe it won't be your favorite. So the next thing at Trader Joe's that are vegan are their JoJo's. It's like their version of an Oreo. There are a few that are vegan, but the only ones that are available year round, I believe, are the regular JoJo's, the vanilla JoJo's, and the mocha JoJo's. I think those might be new, but they're all kind of like this Oreo knockoff <laughs> for that they sell at Trader Joe's and it's so good, it comes in lots of different flavors. Depending on the season, I think that they have different ones. I think around fall right now, they might even have a fall themed one. I think it might be pumpkin spice. So yeah, it's really good. If, it's, if you're left with one alone, you will eat the whole box. Very dangerous, just, you know. <laughs> Next thing at Trader Joe's that they now have that I was very excited to hear, they have nutritional yeast. If you don't know what nutritional yeast is, it's basically this powder and it has a lot of different vitamins in it. And it also is kind of cheesy flavored, so a lot of vegans use it when um, making different cheesy sauces, or they put it on top of their pasta or their rice. I've seen nutritional yeast put on a lot of stuff. Some people put it on their popcorn. So yeah, it can be used as kind of a flavoring and you can also get your b12 from it it's very great it comes in a little bag and i remember when it first came out it was sold out all the time and now it is finally the hype has calmed down i can finally get my hands on it whenever i go to trader joe's but yeah it is really really good this next item i have not seen in forever i don't know if they stopped selling it or if they don't sell it in my trader joe's but it is the chickenless mandarin orange morsels it's basically vegan orange chicken. It is so, so good, you guys. Especially if you put it with some rice so that you're not just eating like all of this chicken stuff. It is so amazing, this sauce. It tastes just like orange chicken. It's basically similar to the one from Gardein, their orange chicken one. It's very, very similar. It might actually be the same one, but rebranded or something because it tastes super, super similar, but it's really, really good. And I'm really sad that I haven't seen it. I don't know if the Trader Joe's that I shop at even has vegan meats because I can't find it every time I go. I just, I can't find it, it's very sad. Next item I got the other day, but it is their caramel corn. And this caramel corn is amazing. You can't even really tell that it was vegan. I was very surprised that it was vegan, but yeah, it has, has a great flavor. Would eat, 10 out of 10. Next item from Trader Joe's is their crescent rolls. I love these. I believe that crescent rolls are vegan usually with most other brands too, so you just need to check the ingredients. I like putting vegan cream cheese in these and having vegan cream cheese rolls. Those are so, 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 so good. Those are amazing and very simple to make actually, or you can put cranberry sauce in them and have like cranberry rolls. Mm. Mm. So this next item, Trader Joe's usually carries items that are their own brand, but this is actually another brand. They carry the Miyoko's vegan butter, and I believe that Miyoko's is like a pretty famous vegan dairy alternative brand. They have a lot of cheeses. I think they maybe have cream cheese, and they have this butter that they sell at Trader Joe's. I personally have not tried it, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. The next thing that they have are their fried onion pieces. These are interesting. You put them on top of something and they do taste pretty good. They're a little bit too salty in my opinion, but they're still good if you want to put them on top of like baked potatoes or maybe on top of macaroni or something. It's definitely a good topping. Next thing from Trader Joe's is their seasonal almond drink and this comes around only in the fall time and it's interesting. I personally don't really like it. I bought some the other day and I've just been using it as coffee creamer because it just has, it's an interesting taste. It's not really sweet. It's just like, eh, what is this? But um, it's exciting. It's vegan. So that's the main reason why I bought it. Next item are their dark chocolate crisps. These look like Pringles, but they're chocolate. And these are amazing. If you have the whole thing, you will eat the whole thing. And it's so good. They're just so thin and easy to eat. I don't know. They're like perfectly mouth shaped. Um, and they're really good if you're on your period and you're just craving a snack, a, like a nice little chocolate snack. Next item are their organic vegetable burritos. So they have a vegetarian version and they have a vegan version. You have to watch out because the vegetarian version has cheese in it and the vegan version does not, which is awesome. So yeah, these are pretty good. They're very easy to heat up. And they're very filling, very 10 out of 10, would recommend. Next thing from Trader Joe's is their rice to cauliflower stir fry. I personally have never tried this before, but it looks very interesting. I think it's kind of like a rice substitute, maybe if you're going low carb, which 
no thank you but um, it looks pretty good I've just never tried it before next is their mini 70% cacao dark chocolate bars these are pretty good if you want to make s'mores with them. On their own, they're a little bit much, but they're very good for s'mores. Next item on the list is their Mango Mini Mochi. So I think that's how you say it. If you guys have ever heard of mochi, it's like this little ice cream thing, I believe. Um, I think it can be ice cream or it can just be like a little ball. I used to eat these a lot when I was younger, but mostly they're made out of ice cream, so I don't eat them anymore. I found out that these were vegan. I was very excited, and I still have not tried them yet because every time I've gone to Trader Joe's, they have been sold out, and there was one time that there was literally one left, and I went to grab it, and as I was about to grab it, this other lady swooped in. She took it. So anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like these kind of countdown style of videos, then let me know and I will continue doing them. There are a lot more vegan items at Trader Joe's than the ones that I mentioned, so don't feel limited by this list. There are so many more. Definitely follow the account that I mentioned and they continuously will post vegan items and new vegan things that come up. That's how I discover a lot of the vegan items that I get from Trader Joe's. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you like it, dislike if you didn't like it, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!